it's Amy from crazybeautiful.com. We are going to make a box today using our envelope punch board. And um, I thought I'd made this before, but I've not made this video yet. So we're going to start with an eight and a half inch piece of cardstock. It's going to be square. Um, so eight and a half in both directions. And you're going to start lining it up here first at three inches. So our first step is to punch and score our first side at three inches and then slide it down to four and a quarter. You're going to use the scoring tool and um, try to follow the groove that um, is here. You'll see where the groove is so you sort of know where you're going um, and that'll help and you'll also kind of get used to it once you get started. So punch it and score it at four and a quarter. And then you're going to see that width right there is how thick your box will be. Okay, if you don't want it quite that thick, then just bump the four and a quarter down to four inches. Um, you're going to punch and score on that opposite side. So punching and scoring on the two opposite ends and then you're going to turn it to one of the remaining sides and not pay any attention to the measurements. We're now lining it up with the notches and the score lines that we already have. This here is the score guide. Um, you're going to line up that score mark with the score guide and the notch that you cut out here with the new score mark that you want to make. So punch it and score it and then slide it over so you're lining those two score lines up again, the existing score lines. Punch it and score it and do the same with the last side. So again, just lining up the score marks, punching it and scoring it and then sliding over so you'll have Okay, so what we'll have now is the four sides punched and scored and you'll, if you would like to corner round the top of your box, there's a corner rounder on that opposite side of your punch. And I like to do that just so I can keep track of where the top of my box is. Um, go ahead and give those score lines a crease and a fold and just kind of reinforce that crease. I also do kind of like to trim the bottom flap of my box so I'm just going to set this on my paper trimmer trimming off about three quarters of an inch and you'll see when we put our box together um, where that comes in handy. Now we're going to just cut all the notches out here so where the score lines are crossing over you're just going to cut in and remove those if you would like to stamp your box, now is the time to stamp it. Well, you can still lay it out flat on your work surface. I'm going to um, use the stamp if I can figure out where I want it. Um, and I'm going to heat emboss it in white. Okay, then what you're going to do is we want to assemble our box. And I'm using sticky strip to do that. but let me just give you a tip. If you fill that box up with envelopes, you're going to make sure that your box is nice and square, um, which will really help when you're filling it up later with cards and envelopes. So go ahead and add your sticky strip um, at these um, here at the bottom and use the cards, use the envelopes in the box to help you make sure that you're um, gluing everything straight. Now these are my favorite part of this little box. I use clear transparent velcro circles and I cut it in half because you really don't need a huge amount. Keep the two sides together and peel off the white, the softer side.
you're going to stick it down on the top and then peel off the back. Close it on itself so you get that positioning right. And then I had to use my scissors to open this because the adhesive really hasn't had time to bond. So um, carefully open that and then you can then you can give that adhesive a chance to bond and your box will be complete. So thanks so much for joining me. Hope you have a great day. Bye.